What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode, great to see you all again. Today, I'm heading to Colder Golf Club to play my goals. driving range um, to hit some golf balls because I don't tend to do that before I play golf and it's a bad sign. So I'm going to hit some golf balls, try and notice any problems in my swing um, and hopefully not apply that with my game. But this golf course is brilliant and this driving range is stunning because it's clean enough grass and it's not off the mats and those things make a huge difference when you play. So let's see. I haven't practiced my putting, which is a shame. I've had to get up in five minutes. I wonder if that's going to make a difference in today's game. I found a few things about my swing that uh, it was an improvement, which is good. Following through all the way and not lifting my head up too early made a bit of a difference in that little, little clip on YouTube watching that from Rick Shields. Helped. Let's put it into practice. left we'll be all right yep carrying the old bad boys in hand absolutely beautiful weather 22 degrees but sun's out it's not a frigging cloud in the sky it's just peachy oh god i love it I'm trying to find this and uh god this grass is long and these are the out of bound stakes anyway so in all honesty i'm gonna have to take a drop Mind that so much. I knew it was going to be a shaky start, but I felt something good about my swing. I really did when I was on the uh, on a driving range. I can only take that as a positive and try and apply that to this game. Double in the first hole, not amazing. Could have done a lot better. Oh well. I'll be coming past that later, but this time I've gone over there. Don't hurt me. My Strixon and the hole is just there. Do a little tribal dive behind you. Yeah. It wasn't about distance. 241 yards. Balls over here, just behind the bunker. Should hopefully have a good lie. Then I'm gonna just lift that over onto there. It shouldn't be that difficult, should it? Dude. Slightly annoying. A six, a double. I need to get rid of these. Okay. Connection was sweet. Hit it in the middle of the face. I think I was just aiming that way because I was trying to avoid the slice. There is no chance in hell I'm finding this here. And even if I could, I haven't got three hours of my time to look down into the dark depths of Mount Doom to see if it's in here somewhere. I knew the point of which it crossed, and I'm gonna take a drop. Gotta enjoy my golf now, come on. Right, I see a white thing there. If that is my ball, oh no, there's not a little golf ball. It's just a bit of plastic, isn't it? Got me excited for no reason. Ah! Why would you do that to me? Why? I'm going seven nine. Over this tree. Time. 
great. Sometimes I wonder, what is the point of golf? I mean, really, what is it? I didn't want to be above this pin. This is going to be a gross and hideous chip. Have a look at the green. That chip was impossible. That was a nice confidence booster, that last putt. It was actually eight foot. It was long. Come on, lift up spirits a little bit. I also realise I've got no water or no food. Freaking starving like right this. Tightless brand new Pro V1. Went somewhere, but then I heard a knock. But I couldn't see where that happened after that knock. I think it hit something and popped out. Maybe he's a. Uh, God knows. I'm gonna try and find that now. Saving grace, so I can not make this so drastic. Sucked a bit. Close putt. That would be a nice little par. End up with a bogey. Slight improvements here. Slight improvements. All right, next one. Holding ones in play. Oh, good. Get in the hole. The bit of golf that we all really, really hate. A bunch of old fogies behind you who just are constantly moaning because they have to wait a minute before they tee off. I'm just like, shut up, go away. That's gonna be a horrible putt. Pins in a horrible location. Let me show you this green, it's nuts. Look at this green. this I don't mind at all man on the green like that I... that first part was unlucky it just it just stopped on the peak of that little mound on the green and yeah a little bit more I would have had the momentum to go down but anyway we're good it looks like they've got a nearest to the pin challenge in this hmm Close. Second shot on the green. This was just great. Pin high. Get in. 
hard to take that one, but hey, moving to the 18th hole. I think I birdied it last time. Maybe I parred it, I can't remember. But it was very good. Let's try and do that again. Finish off nice, have a cold beer, and reflect on some of the good stuff I've done today and some of the bad stuff I've done today. In other words, I'll be talking a lot about the bad stuff I've done and little about the good stuff I've done. Let's go. Literally the best t-shirt I've hit all day. Seven iron, sense of the club face, straight, absolutely fluid. You're gonna stay short of the little river that runs across and then chip on from there. So, let's have a look. Oh, you little babies with you. You little babies. Yes, look at them. I'm almost pin high. Oh, maybe I rolled back a little bit. On the green. I've got a putt for birdie. Maybe this is the one. This is the one that I finally do that makes me come back and play golf again. Because as you all know, you can hit a hundred over. If there's one shot that's good, you come back and do it again. That is a pretty impressive second shot. I'm happy with the par. I haven't really showed you guys the uh a new golf bag, have I? Thanks to the fellas, hooked me that for my uh, 40th birthday. It's got a twist face, guys, it's got a twist face. So that's me done. Round over, nine holes, not the greatest. Too many double bogeys, too many duff shots. Last hole was a memorable one, it was a good one. Could have actually made birdie on it, messed it up. But as always, guys, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what you'd like to see. See you in the next round. Peace. Oh.